Okay, I figured I'd give you a little video walk around on the 1999 BMW F650. I've had this bike since 2015, and I put about a thousand miles on it. As you can see, we've got brand new Anarchy 3 Michelin tires on it. The bike has been exceptionally maintained and is in great condition. It's got the Wonderlic saddlebag on it, which you can pretty much fit a helmet in there if you really try. Really, the only modification I've done to the bike has been the rear tail light. I still have the original. I swapped this out with an LED because it's much brighter. And obviously, safety on a motorcycle is always key. You can see the factory luggage racks for the panniers that I have. Show those to you in a minute. But like I said, this is a excellent example of the classic F650 Fundura, the one that really started the dual sport craze. I also have a pair of factory bags, panniers to go with it, as well as custom luggage inserts to go into each bag so it's really nice you can just pack your stuff up put it in the bag get to where you want to go open up the bag take your clothes and belongings out and you're good to go so i figured we'd go ahead and give her a start i wheeled her out of the garage this morning you can see we've got just over 12,900 miles on the clock so let's go ahead and turn the key on switches down we'll probably have to give her a little bit of a choke since she hasn't started so you make sure she's in neutral there you go starts right up gives you a little better shot of the LED there. That's just your regular running lights. You can really see how much brighter it is. But for the purists, I, like I said, I still have the original light. Again, she's had a full service. We've done a valve service. The valves all were within proper tolerance. The uh, Exhaust valves were at 0.14 each, and I believe the intakes were at 0.11 and 0.12, with the tolerance being 0.10 to 0.15 for the valves. All new fluids, brake fluid, oil, coolant, new spark plugs, new uh, um, air filter. Uh, it's an oil air filter, so it's really nice. You just take it out, wash it. Spray it back up with the K&M filter oil, soak it in real good and put it back in and you're good to go.